Hello, my name is RD and we are going to solve problem 5.19 from Nielsen and Riedel book. So the question is the op M in the circuit of figure P5.19 is ideal. What op M circuit configuration is this? Okay, so the voltage source is connected to the positive terminal and we got a resistor and a feedback resistor on the negative terminal. So that will be a non-inverting amplifier. So the answer for A is non-inverting amplifier. Okay. Let's move on to question B. Find V0 in terms of PS. I think we need to do some KVL in this node here. Okay, let's name this node here as VA. This node here as VA. And then this node here as VB. Okay. However, because this is the terminal of ideal of M, we take a note that VA is equal to VB. Right? Okay, now let's assume the direction of the current. Okay, maybe this is going to the right. This is going to the right. This is going to the right. This is going down and this is going down and for the op M1 all goes into the op M. Okay. And now let's do KCL at node VA. KCL at node VA. KCL said that the sum of the voltage in a loop will equal to zero. Oh, that's KVL. KCL said that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay. And the only current that goes in into VA is this one. And that current is Vs minus VA, right? Vs minus VA divided by 32. Okay, let's rewrite that. So I'll have Vs minus VA divided by 32. Okay. And all of that will equal to this current that goes into the op M is 0. And then we will have this current here, which is VA minus V0 divided by 8. Okay, I think that's all for this node. And we can multiply both sides here by 32. Okay, 32 and 32 will cancel into 1. So we will have Ts minus Va. Okay, 0 plus something. I don't need to write it. And then 8 and 32 will cancel into 4. So we will have 4 Va minus, minus that. That is not V0. That is 0. I mean, that is 0. Okay, so we will have. 4 VA, yeah, only 4 VA on the right side, okay? And so that means that we will have Vs is equal to 4 VB. I mean 4 V, 5 VA? No, no. 5 V, 4 VA plus 1 VA. So I will have 5 VA. Vs is equal to 5 VA. Okay, or that also means that VA is equal to VS divided by 5. Good. Maybe let's save this as equation number 1. Okay, and now let's do another KCL, but this time at node B. Maybe let's clean up a bit here so we can get some space. Okay, now let's do KCL at node B. KCL at node VB. Okay, remember that the sum of the current that goes in will equal to the sum of the current that goes out. Okay, and the current that goes in is this one, only that one. So I will have zero because this is ground, right? So we will have 0 minus Vb divided by 7. Okay, and that will equal to the current that goes into the op M because it is ideal. That will be 0. 
and then plus we will have Pb minus V0. Pb minus V0 divided by 56. Okay, 56. Good. Maybe let's multiply both sides by 56. So this 7 will cancel into 8. So on the left hand side, we will have minus 8 Pb. And on the right hand side, we will have Pb minus P0. So we will have P0 is equal to 9 Pb. And because Pa is and Pb are the same, so we will have P0 is equal to 9 Pa. But then we can substitute this one. So we will have PO is equal to 9 multiplied by Vs divided by 5. Okay, 9 divided by 5, that will be 1.8. Yeah, so we will have P0. P0 is equal to 1.8 Vs. And that is the relationship of P0 and Vs. And that is the answer for question B. Okay, we got question A and question B covered. So now let's move on to question C. And we need this answer for question B. Okay, let's clean up the board. Okay, now let's answer question C. Find the range of values for Vs such that V0 does not saturate and the op M remains in its linear region of operation. Remember, the output of the op M has to be between minus 15 until 12. Or mathematically, we can write it as inequalities here. Minus 15 is less than or equal V0 less than or equal 12 and we can substitute this so we will have minus 15 is less than or equal 1.8 vs and it's less than or equal to 12 okay we can divide all by 1.8 so we will have minus 15 divided by 1.8 and then it's less than or equal by Vs. And then it's less than or equal by 12 divided by 1 in 8. And I think this will need to be calculated in calculator because that's hard. Now let's do exactly that. So we will have 15 divided by 1.8. Okay, we will have 8.33 here. So we will have minus 8.33 on the left of the inequality sign. And then for the this one here, I will need to divide 12 by 1.8. So we will have 6.67. Okay, and this is the range of the Vs. So it has to be between minus 8.33 volt until 6.67 volt. And I think that's all for this problem 5.19. Hopefully this will help you to solve this problem. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.